Hi, a um, friend of mine at where I work for my day job um, had a problem with an old radio that they listen to um, when they're at their desk and things are quiet. So this is the radio and apparently what's wrong with it, I haven't powered it up yet to have a look, but the volume stays pretty much flat out and the volume slider control on the top here doesn't work very well. It's either very noisy or it's broken or something like that. So I figured we'd do a quick video, have a look, see if we can see what's wrong with this and see if, we, if there's a, the ability to do a quick fix. So let's go to it, take it apart on the bench and see if what we can find. So as you can see, the uh, radio is a Panasonic. It's um, quite old, but apparently it works very well. It's been quite reliable over the years. And it's got a cassette built in, it's got a radio built in, uh, it's got external headphone output, does FM, AM, um, and even has auto reverse. Anyway, um, let's get the screws out and have a look what's inside. As I say, I think the problem is over here with the power, so we'll see what we can find. I guess it would pay before we start taking it apart to uh, turn it on and see if we can actually observe what the problem is. So, on off switch. Well, I guess the volume control kind of looks like it works there. The um, switch, the actual power switch though only seems to have, um, indicates here that it seems to have three positions, a tape, an FM, and an AM, um, plus the off position. But looking at this, it goes from off, unless off is where the tape is, I guess, um, to FM. And then what I assume is probably AM picking up all the static in my lab. So if I turn that off and just simply press the play button, yeah, that brings it back on again. So that's probably what it is. So that's fine. Um, stop button, stop. We have the auto reverse direction. So it might just be that the volume control over here is just a little bit noisy. Um, let's see if we can tune it into a station and, and test that out a little bit more. Well, it looks like it does drop to just one speaker at the bottom end. This has got both of them on now, slightly off the end with a slide. Yep, both speakers seem to be working there. Hope you can hear me okay. Turn the volume back down. So it's still both speakers. And we're pretty much off, and then if I go a little bit further, it comes back up on this right hand speaker instead of being off. So there's definitely something amiss with this um, slider part, maybe a bit of a loose connection or uh, something like that. So let's uh, pull the power out and have a look. Okay, so we've uh, managed to gently ease the back off of the unit. It all comes out in one complete piece. So let's just grab the extra couple of loose screws that are now laying around. Um, yeah, it looks like the audio circuitry is over here, which of course is where we have the slider control for the um, volume. So uh, let's have a little closer look at that and see what we can see. So what we have here is, this is the slider for the um, 
radio control and they've been pretty much using it always at this end of the uh, travel so I don't know if it's possible to potentially turn it around uh, I don't know if it's a logarithmic part or whether it's a linear one but it would take a lot of work basically to try and get this circuit board out if you look at this it is very very well screwed in and I would have to disassemble um, the entire thing and I don't think I'm really prepared to do that well basically the problem is with this here so I'm going to see if I can see anything on the tracks I'm going to see if I can take the uh, slider off I'm just going to bring my magnifying glass in here a little bit for me to see I'm going to try and pop the slider off hopefully it will come off without breaking anything but it just keep an eye closely to make sure nothing goes flying so there we go all we have here are just a pair of wipers are actually connected to, well they're not connected together but um, it looks like that's all they're doing oh no they are I think they must be connected or no it's um it's actually got four tracks on here. I'm looking closer at the board and it's actually got four tracks in there. So what I think I'll do is I'm just going to get a, uh, a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and see if I can give the um, tracks a little bit of a clean. I am seeing um, down here, I don't know if I can get the camera zoomed in. So just for your viewing pleasure, this is the um, volume control track right here. And what we have, if you look at this end of it, there appears to be a little bit here, which is probably where they've been having the wear and tear. So I'm going to try and use a bit of isopropyl alcohol, maybe just to clean the tracks. I'm not sure if that's going to be enough to um, get rid of that bottom end noise, but we'll do the best we can and uh, see what we end up with. So I think we managed to get it a little bit cleaner. Isopropyl alcohol on a... Um, lint-free cloth um, just rubbed up and down the tracks a little bit there was a little bit of gunk a bit heavier stuck on here so I used some very gentle, very very gentle pressure from my screwdriver just the flat blade and just gently um, basically just the weight of the tip of the screwdriver no pressure from my hands or anything just gave it a little rub at the end to try and clean it and now as you can see they, there was a little divot basically and a little bit of gunk that was built up on the end here it's now quite clean so let's put this back together and see if it's managed to fix it um, the other thing putting this in just in the view here this is the um, slider that goes on the top it's a number of um, tines if I can back this up a bit because it's not letting me focus very well right now on here and these have got uh, as you can see they're just lots and lots of little very fine fingers that push against the tracks and they were a little bit um, pushed down too so I've managed to just ease them up just a little bit to increase the pressure on the tracks and hopefully that'll help things as well but um, yeah that's uh, all there is to it basically is the two tracks on here so you can see four tracks and what these little fingers do is they ride on those tracks and basically short the inside one nearest the edge to the outer one for one channel and this one to the outer one for the other channel and as you slide it across, of course, the uh, net resistance of the uh, track increases and therefore reduces your volume or it reduces increasing your volume depending on which way you go and which end they've got the high side, of course, connected to. Anyway, let me just take the camera out of the way and we'll get this put back together. If this doesn't fix it, really short of trying to find a source for another slider part, which probably would not um, work too well because, well, basically, where would you get one from for the radio of this age? Um, that's about all I can do. So let's see. Okay, 
All right, let's see. Well. That seems to have got it. No more uh, crud on the bottom. That seems to be working just fine. Well, I'd say that's a quick repair job well done. Anyway, short, sweet, hope you enjoyed it. As I say, Panasonic, old one, just shows that a lot of these old devices, when they start getting um, uh, a little bit noisy on the sliders, all they need is a bit of a clean and they can be as, as right as rain. So uh, next time you get one offered to you, because maybe it's sounding like crap and uh, somebody thinks it's just worth throwing out, give it a quick clean. Hopefully you'll get something working nicely again. Okay, anyway, till next time, bye.